33, Peter Balding, 53, John Munn, 77, Ian Flats, 422, Nigel Wood, Kevin Free from New Zealand, Ron Colner from the Netherlands, Paul Harrison, Jamie Davidson, Warren Hunter, Bert Finnegan, Chris Bimmel, Andy Hodgson, John Lorne, 64, 34, and the flag goes down, out of way, and it's neck and neck as they come out of that turn, wheels are already tanking a look at it. Strandridge out of that car, it's perched up as you can see, getting a lot of help, the John Ambulance and various other people there to help him out, looks like he's all okay, he gets a chair from the crowd. NZ 77, Bryce Penn, 22, Lou Bobas from the Netherlands, 383, Dave Johnson, 97, Murray Harrison, 89, Willem Nasing, 34, Mel Brown, 226, Mark Webster, 327, Howard Davis, 169, Andy Clark, 441, John Law, 109, Phil Smith, 77, and 272, and the flag is down, that away again in this restarted World Championship with Peter Morning up there in car number 33, and John Lund in 53, Nigel Ward in third place in 422, 77, the Flats going around there like a rocket. New Zealand are holding his line well along there, Paul Harrison still there as well, and John Lund moving up on Peter Balling as they both slip out into the rough on turn, sir, three and four, out goes Little and Clark down here on the home straight, just looking the hot pace that the two lead cars are setting all the way around here, 33 and 53, moving down that far side extremely quickly, Peter Balling can't get away, oh, and it's going in there, and they both go sliding into the rough there, who's going to recover from that little lock, they both have, and the pressures are really on as they go chasing each other down there, the bumpers going in, all the way down the home straight, Peter Balling those two are fighting it out. Nigel Ward in car number 422 has closed the gap just a little bit. And they go down that back straight. The bumper goes in again. And Peter Ford is going to go. Oh, and London has gone. The world champion has gone. The defending world champion has gone. And it's Nigel Ward who's gone through in car number 422. Peter Ford in number 33. 77 in flats is there. And would you believe in car number 422. Nigel Ward goes wide on turns one and two. But fights back. Peter Ford is still there in car number 33. 77 in flats in that third place. Number two, Paul Harrison in fourth position. As they come once again into the home straight and move down into turns one and two, the bumpers are going in there. Oh, and Pauling puts him away, and Walton goes well away. And he's made a Pauling of puts in there in car number 33, so it's all lightening up very, very rapidly now. With Pauling in car number 33, really blasting his way around there, getting caught up in back markers on the company turn. Will it slow him down enough for him to get involved? And it looks like it is, the bumpers going in again on that turn, and Pauling goes away. And we could well have another change, and it looks as like if we've got it. And it's Ian Flats in car number 77 who takes the lead on the back straight from 33 feet of Balding. Paul Harrison is up in the third place in car number 2 and what a race this is turning out to be. My goodness, we've had the lead change several times and it's Ian Flats in car number 77 from 33 feet of Balding in car number 2. And Junior Lambert has moved up into fifth place, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at this, the pressure they're on and will remain so throughout this one. Ian Flats in car number 77 in the lead from Peter Balding in car number 33. First and second place 
faces, catching up against back Marcus again, Platz almost clips the mark, it's Iron Bobby trying to get through on the inside of turn to number two, it's still here, Platz in 77 and 33, Peter Baldy trying to get close enough, Paul Harrison up in that third place in turn number two, and there uh, we've got uh, the yellow out there, Mr. Stardo once again, 33 your leader, the yellow's gone out and we're just at the halfway, the yellow goes out again, might be all the stoppage, the race is putting up over there, the flag goes down and it's a quick start, now away again, still Peter Balding in car number 33 from here, Platz in number 77, the Paul Harrison in car number 2, 1, 2, 3, in that fourth turn, Gas Smith in car number 64, then they got the junior, junior lane, being 5, 1, 5, they go around that bottom turn very quickly, in the, in the stretch out, now it's Peter Balding in the lead, in number 33 from here, Platz in 77, and Paul Harrison in car number 2, first, second and third, and that is in fact the halfway Mr. Starter, so uh, that's the black guard now uh, that's certainly that. And it's still holding in 33, and will Platz be able to get close enough? Or will there be any further incident which uh, might in fact prevent? Oh yes, there is further incident, it's down there, Barry Heathard, Barry getting involved again, and 89's going to go straight in there, and so do a couple of other cars, but the track is clear for the leaders as they go through, if they hold the tight inside line, which they do, and it is still being holding in car number 33 from 77, Ian Platz will drop back a bit in third place in Paul Harrison in car number 2, then Cap Smith in car number 64, Junior Wayman in 515, Junior Wayman really got to go some now to really crack on and try and get a little bit there. Oh, we can have a problem or two down there. No, oh, at 77, Ian Platz gets caught up. Uh, it's going to be Paul Harrison who moves up into second place, which he does. But Ian Platz is chasing him all the way. The bumper goes in on that. Uh, Paul Harrison goes out into the rough stuff. Oh, and Platz has gone in 77. And that means that Kev Smith comes up to third place. He's got up to 64. And now Paul is Junior Wayman in 515. Oh, we're going to get another incredible situation here tonight. I can't know Junior Wayman gets into trouble down there in 515. So they're getting stretched out all right now. The pressures are definitely on people making mistakes, but Peter Borman hasn't made one yet in car number 33. He does almost, and in fact, he clips that parked up car there. He certainly did nearly dead then, but just look at the distance that has suddenly opened up between first and second place. It's Paul Harrison in that second place. We said maybe that Paul will be up there before we commence racing, and it could well be. That will be the case. He's driving well, but so is Peter Falding in car number 33, over on that far side. Number 33, Peter Falding from number 2. Paul Harrison is there, up goes Quandra again in 217. Still time for changes to occur in a race which has certainly been one full of it, and it's five next time, Mr. Stoddard. Say heaven, look, five, London to hard. Five laps to go with Peter Falling in car number 33 out in the lead and certainly not being challenged now. There's another one that goes down on that bottom turn. Peter Falling coming up against back markers. Will they have an effect on his current position? Peter though too wide in hand to worry too much about that. Coming up against Frankie Wayman gets caught up there. Passes Wayman on the Coventry Ben turns uh, three and four. Comes back into the home straight. Off goes Wharton. Car number 422 back rear tyre. Balding has got those cars there, but certainly Paul Harrison in car number two is not likely at this stage in the proceedings to get much closer, but he's got that valuable second place. And the other, of course, surprise is 64, Kev Smith, but Junior Wayman wants to get on the roster as well in 515, and well he might before the checker goes down. The market tire goes straight across the track, but he doesn't hold the leaders through, and he's still holding in car number 33. Mixing it with the back markers, not slowing things ever down at all. Paul Harrison is still in that second place in car number two. And then that gap, take up to 64 and 515, and Junior Wayman desperately trying to get past number 64. He wants a place on the roster, and there's still time for, for him to do it. Try on the Tahan, two laps to go. Peter Falding in car number 33, the man who was much granted to take this time, looking all set at this stage to do just that with car number two, Paul Harrison in that second place. Then this gap, Junior Wayman still chasing number 64, and if Kev Smith is going to give them way at all, Junior must know that it's got to be the old heath ho and with the last lap board going out, it could well happen. So not only keep your eyes on the leader, because they're on that last lap now, it's Peter Falding in car number 33, about to become the new short track champion. Oh, and then is he going to go in there? No, he doesn't. But he might be on the next one. Peter Falling coming. Oh, and he's lost it. He's lost it right on the last turn. What a pity. He's lost it. There's the checkered flag. Peter Falling takes it.